What's up? Welcome to my channel. I'm Aaron. I play the guitar and this is ASTV. Welcome to another episode of What's Up Wednesdays. And in this video, we are going to discuss something that is related to our last episodes. Our last two episodes were about the delay effects of the Hotone Ampere 2 Stomp. For today's episode, we are going to learn about the math behind delay pedals. What the f***, Aaron? We're going to study math now? Wait, 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 wait. I don't like math too, but we'll discuss this to deepen our understanding about delay effects. So let's get into it. Delay pedals are time-based effects, which means the math of time is already involved from the start. In fact, it is common for a delay pedal to have a time knob. This controls the time it takes for the delay repeats to kick in after you play a note. In delay pedals with digital displays, you would commonly see ms or milliseconds. You can also see this in multi-effects processors especially the classic ones like the Zoom G series or the Digitech RP series. In these units, you can tap in the tempo or automatically set the delay to dotted 8. You manually enter the milliseconds for the delay. How do we manually compute for the right millisecond setting? Songs normally follow a set BPM or beats per minute. This is true especially in the music scene nowadays where everything is recorded with click tracks, recordings are quantized, and track effects and levels are automated. So the first step is to identify the BPM of the song. Then the formula starts with knowing how many milliseconds there are in a minute. There are 1000 milliseconds in 1 second and 60 seconds in 1 minute. Thus, there are 60,000 milliseconds in one minute. If we divide 60,000 with the song's BPM, we will get a millisecond value for a quarter note delay that would match the song. Let's try it with 69 BPM. So that would be 60,000 divided by 69. Our value is 869. Sweet. 0.56521739130434348. But we can round it off to 870. Ah, too bad. We have here our setup patch. Without the delay pedal, it sounds like this. Sixty-nine BPM sounds like this. So let us set our delay to 870 milliseconds. And here is how it sounds like. So as you can hear, the delay repeats match the BPM set to 69. Nice! This time, let's set the metronome to 132 BPM. So let's compute again, 60,000 divided by 132. Gives us 454.545454545445445. Let's just round it off to 455 milliseconds. Here's how it sounds like. about if we want to set our delay to dotted 8. The first value that we have is 455 and this is equivalent to our quarter note. An 8 note is the half of a quarter note and the count of a dotted 8 note is an 8 note plus the half of the 8 note. It might be getting confusing but we could achieve the millisecond value by two methods. The first is 
from the quarter note value of 455, we divide it by 2. And now we have an 8 note value. And then to get a dotted 8, we add 50% of this value plus 50% press equals. And then it will be 341. Or from 455, we just multiply this to point 75. And again, we will achieve 341 as our millisecond value. So let's try it out. Let's put in 341 milliseconds. And here is how it sounds like. So the formula was correct. We were able to achieve a dotted 8 setting using this. So there you have it. These are the ways on how you can dial in the perfect millisecond setting for your delay effect pedal. Actually, there is a hack or shortcut. There are a lot of BPM to millisecond converters slash calculators available online. I will be leaving some links down in the description below. But hopefully through this video, we were able to learn how the time parameter of a delay pedal works. This understanding is also applicable to other things like music production or audio engineering. There are just some delay and reverb effects that you cannot tap in the tempo. You have to compute manually the millisecond to match the song. So if you find value in this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well so that you'll be updated the next time I upload a video. Stay tuned for more episodes of ASTV. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.